Well, yeah. usually, yeah, I know y'all looking for some other, you ask me how, it's, it's you know, command. Fastball, if you look back through them, where he's trying to go and where it ends up. Very good hitting team. They got what, I think at one point they had six guys hitting over 300 there. You make those mistakes, you know, out over the plate, you're gonna, you're gonna pay a price. But, uh, never, you know, velocity and wise, he's about as good as, you know, we've seen him over a stretch of time, but he just can't seem to corral it, get it where he needs to get it. You know, we could, you know, we've been good about getting some shutdown innings. Richard's been real good. We weren't able to do that. But uh, their guy was pretty good. He knew exactly what he was going to do, and he did it anyway. What was the difference in the night? What was the difference in the night thing that enabled you to get a little closer there? I was strong. We got us some good at bats. I mean, I, I'm real proud of Kimmy. He comes off the bench, you know, not seeing much playing time, and hits the change up down the left field line. The only place you can hit a pitch like that. You know, this is a really it's all over baseball. Not just them. You got to be able to handle something off speed. You know, their guy reminds me a lot of Estrada with Toronto. You know, a lot of change-ups, high fastballs, big leg kick, front side th jumps, jumps at you, and you got to really, and it seems to always be throwing the pitch you're not looking for. He's a guy that you, but uh, no, we, we've strung together. Obviously, it was the different pitchers that we did it against, but you know their bullpen's been pretty good too. It's a good baseball team. We came within a swing of uh, tying it up. When you both always struggled, you guys have put him in the bullpen. I mean, is that just not a luxury you have at this point in time, given where you are roster-wise? Well, it's always a possibility, but, you know, you could say that about a few other guys, too. You know? So, you know, certainly another topic after he has a tough outing, and I, and I understand why. But, uh, you know, we'll see. You know, he's, he's capable of better. He said in the past that, you know, that you can't always gauge what's going on in Norfolk. I mean, make the connection that, that what a guy's doing in Norfolk isn't necessarily tell you that he can't do it up here. Is is there anybody that you have in the organization that, that might fit that description that you can get us, you know, at least get a test, like an experimental spot start out of? Sure. Yes, there, there is. There's always that possibility. You know, you got, uh, what now, you got six uh, seven pitching staffs in the organization. There's a lot of guys that, that you know, if that's the description, but it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of ramifications that come with it. You know, obviously the priority every time you start a season is a major league club getting in the playoffs and winning a world championship. And, um, but there's a lot of, uh, you know, I understand what you're saying. I, I'm focused on trying to make what we have, which has been good at times. Uh, and in the past, uh, as good as it can be, and it's capable of better. I and mean, that's where I'm dwelling. I uh, I look at box scores and what have you, and just because I'm, I'm interested, they're because they're wearing our uniform. But uh, you know, there's people down there capable of pitching well up here. That's that's for sure. I know it's tough regardless, but when he gets, you know, he's been giving up a lot of runs early too. So he's been putting you in holes. I mean, the last two games, six zero, seven one. Um, does that make it any worse because you guys are, you know, down so early with him on there and he doesn't work particularly yeah, fast? Yeah, we've, we've come back from a couple of those deficits here recently, but, uh, you know, it does cast a little uh, a, a challenge that you don't want to see every night, especially this time of year when it's hot and sticky. I mean, he's trying to pitch well. He really wants to. It's not like he's trying not to, you know, to, to pitch well. But, you know, we get some. You know, pure shutdown innings out of the bullpen too tonight. That you know, there's a different situation there. But you're also going to see some different pitchers in the game if that's the case. You know, so I try to keep that in mind too if it's a closer game. But uh, you know, there's nobody who wants to and tries. You know, it, it bothers him. Don't I wouldn't take his any of our pitchers' professional demeanor to think that they don't. It really doesn't eat at them. You know, uh, he gets it down, and Trumbo hits a two-run homer. I, I get it. You know, he feels it. I, I don't know. You know, if he's, you know, feeling not particularly good at the plate and passing the baton, and I don't ever have a problem with someone feeling something and, and going for it. You know, and uh, you know, I, I don't dwell on that. You know, guys, I know what it, it certainly leaves yourself open for people will chirp about that, and, and understandably, but. You know, I got it, um, but 
it's not something that uh, I'm going to chastise him about. He, we talk about it all the time. It's one of the reasons why the guys have been able to play with a free flow is you feel something, you see it, and you go for it.